In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to equip your dunk packages so you can catch more contact dunks and bring your chances of getting blocked almost down to zero. Excellent. All right, in this video, I'm gonna be addressing small forwards, shooting guards, and point guards that can get contact dunks. Now, the reason why I'm only addressing that is because I have a shooting guard and I've been playing with my shooting guard all year. It is literally my only build. So I'm only gonna speak on things that I actually know. All right, so for the very first thing that you need to equip in order for you to get more contact dunks is a mid-range jump shot. A lot of people make dunkers or they make slash and playmakers or these different builds and they can't shoot mid-ranges. So what that does is, is that allows you to actually get blocked more because the defense knows that they don't have to close out from you from mid-range they don't have to close out for, on you from three. So in order for you to be able to step one to getting more contact dunks is for you to actually have a mid range shot on your player high enough for you to be able to hit it or even a three point shot on your player. That's step number one. Having that opens up your entire game. It's gonna get you way more contact dunks because you're gonna be able to pump fake people and get straight to the basket. So get a player or make a player that has a decent mid-range rating on it or a decent three-point rating. Now, some people may be asking, what is the proper three-point rating to have on my player in order for me to get dunks? Well, that all depends on you and your proficiency and how you shoot jump shots. So, if you're somebody that can pretty much green with any kind of jump shot, you know, you may not need as high of a rating. My rating with my slash and playmaker with a blue and orange pie chart, it only started off at a 72. At a 97 overall or a 98, it's like a 75, 76. So with that being said, I hit shots much, much better than most people that make slashers. But I also have 13 shooting badges and my three point rating is at like a 65. So those are the things that contribute to me getting more contact dunks and getting blocked way less when I get to the rim. Because now you gotta pick your poison. Am I gonna shoot the mid range? Am I gonna shoot the three? Am I gonna get to the basket? You don't know, cause I don't know either at the start of the play. All I know is whatever it is that's open, whatever space is open, I'm attacking the open space and that's how I'm gonna be able to get my shots off. All right, so step number two is gonna be what you see on screen right now. These are the dunk packages that you're gonna wanna have equipped and you're gonna wanna have them equipped in this order. All right, so the order of your dunk packages is very, very important. And the reason why the order of your dunk packages is important is because 2K as it currently is right now in 2K20, is all based off of how you put your dunk packages in what order. And that is going to determine when you go up in the air, which dunk package you're more likely to see than others. So the reason why quick drop off of one is the first package that equipped because in 2K, quick drop off of one is going to be your go-to dunk package. Now I know in years past, they used to have like go-to dunk package, that would be your very first slot, and then everything else will come after that. The order in which you order your dunk packages greatly determines what you're gonna do when someone's chasing you or if you're in traffic. So for somebody like me with such a high dunk rating, when I get ready to go up in the air, I wanna be able to go up with two hands if somebody's behind me and do a dunk that is least likely to get blocked. Now, because I have quick drops off one equipped first, that means that more than likely, 2K is gonna give me that dunk package as opposed to my other dunk packages that are equipped in the list as well. So this is a great dunk package to either finish if somebody is chasing behind you or if they're in front of you too, a lot of times you will get a one foot two handed finish that's gonna be like a power slam right in somebody's face. So make sure that you have this one, number one. Pay close attention to these clips that I'm showing you right here. The reason why Athletic Hangs Off 2 is the second dunk package that you wanna put on is because, like I said before, 2K is going to equip or it's going to select dunks out of your package based off of the order that you have them in. So if you look at this Athletic Hangs Off 2 package, right? There are some cockback tomahawks in there where you pull it back behind your head or whatever. But the thing is, is that when you're trying to dunk the ball, especially if people are chasing you, 2K more than likely is going to give you a specific dunk 
in the athletic hangs off two package, which would be this dunk, as you see right here. And this dunk is one that it defaults to if you don't get a quick drop off one, it's gonna default to this dunk because this is the second package in your dunk packages. So if you get the right amount of room, you're gonna take off from far, you're gonna extend, put the ball out in front of you, and you're gonna slam it home. Now, the reason why that's so important is because a lot of times, it's sometimes in 2K, well, a lot of times in 2K, it lets people that shouldn't be able to chase you down, chase you down. So having a dunk package on like this greatly, greatly, greatly reduces the chances of you getting chased down because this dunk is in this package. For the next dunk pack, back scratch and rim hangs. Now, the reason why this is important to have this package at number three is because if you look at these animations, although he is doing a back scratcher behind his head and back scratchers are more likely to get blocked, the, the thing is, is that these animations are really, really quick. So what happens is, is when someone is chasing you down or trying to chase you, 2K more than likely is going to give you a split between the athletic hangs off two and the back scratching rim hangs. So remember that dunk that I was talking to you about before earlier in the athletic hangs off two? That dunk is gonna be more likely to activate when someone is chasing you. And then if you put this dunk package at number three, more than likely you're going to get one of these back scratching rim hangs when someone is trying to run underneath you coming at the goal. So you're gonna dunk on that person really, really hard. This is another way to help you catch more posters at the park. And I'll just keep it real with you. I've probably been blocked maybe twice all year doing a back scratching rim hang, to be 100% honest with you. But we're talking about months and months and months of playing. If you put the packages on the way that I'm telling you to, you're gonna greatly, greatly, greatly reduce your chance of getting blocked. Like I said earlier, I'm talking from experience. I'm not talking about something I don't know. And one last thing before we go, this is a little bonus tip on your dunk packages. When you're equipping your dunk packages, I don't care what anybody tells you, you want to equip every single contact dunk package that you can equip. It is super important, and here's why. Okay, so take a look here. For my alley-oops, I only put the elite alley-oops on because if you look, these alley-oops are actually some of the better alley-oops in the game. They're some of the higher alley-oops in the game. I don't equip any park alley-oops. They are not good for being able to finish in the park and to keep yourself from getting blocked. I've gotten blocked on park alley-oops. It's really annoying, especially if the game is on the line. You don't want to be out here trying to be more fancy than you are trying to be efficient. That's the reason why I don't have park dunks and I don't have park alley-oops, and I, nor do I have the circus park layup thing that they have in the game. Like, it's cool and it looks great and all, but it's just not efficient enough for you to be able to play and be able to win games at a high rate, in my opinion. Outside of the elite alley-oops, the next couple things you wanna have on look a little bit something like this. So you wanna put your pro contact dunks on, you want to put on your elite contact dunks, and you wanna put on your small contact dunk packages. The reason why is because each one of these contact dunk packages is made for a different scenario. Now, at one point in time during the year, I tried just the elite contact dunks. I had it just like this. But the problem with that is, is that sometimes your character powers up way too high for these dunks and he ends up getting blocked. If you put on the small package and you put on the pro package, what ends up happening is, is that 2K more often times than not gives you a dunk in a particular situation that lessens your chance of getting blocked. Number one, because you have more options because you have three pro con or three contact dunk packages on. And then number two, it's also dunking on those players based off of their kind of like their space between you and the basket and whether or not, you know, they're a guard or a big or different things like that. Now I know if you look at a lot of different footage of a lot of different people playing 2K, you'll see a common thread. Like people get dunked on, sometimes like the dunks that you would normally see on a big man, you can do those on a guard as well. But like I said, the reason why the small uh, contact dunk package exists in the game is because it's going to give your player an opportunity to be able to do a small contact dunk package if someone's chasing you or uh, you know if you got somebody trying to contest you at the rim it's gonna give you more variations 
the more variations you have in your game, the deadlier you become. That's the reason why the first tip in this video was, hey, how you get more contact dunks is by actually having some sort of mid-range shot or a three-point shot. It's very, very easy if someone is sagging off you to pump fake, wait, and let them jump past you and then you get to the basket. It's very, very easy to do. It's not a hard thing. If you notice, most players that play this game, they pump fake anyway when they first get the ball, even if nobody's actually gonna bite on it. So it's just something for you to actually be aware of as you play the game. Like I said, all three contact dunk packages are going to be best. I've tried one of them or just the pro or just the elite. I'm telling you, I would go up at the rim. If a two way was on me, a lot of the times I would get blocked just because I didn't have as many dunk packages to go to when I needed them. Yes, the elites look way better, but like I said before, you wanna make sure that you finish and you finish at a high rate. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Check out the rest of these highlight clips. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. I hope this video helped you out. If this video helped you out, please like, please subscribe, click the notification bell so you can know when I'm dropping the next video or whenever it comes out. If you got any video requests or anything that you wanna specifically talk about, leave it down below in the comment section. Let's talk about it. And if it's a subject that's too big for me to cover maybe in the comments, I'll make an entire video on it. So let me know in the comment section below. I'm glad you guys tuned in. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. My name is Air Samurai. Happy Saturday.